Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these amber colors, crystals and bicons beaded bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you don't like these colors, these amber and orange colors, just make it in red or blue or green or whatever colors you like. I'm here just to show you the pattern. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and down there in description you will find a full list of materials linked to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and to one more thing, you will find a link to my second channel where I post fast clips to some of my most famous videos so you could see the whole project in just two three minutes and decide if you feel like making them or not. So thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are these 11 light orange beads and here I use 10 beads in this beige color with light orange nuance. Uh, here these are crystal clear 6 millimeter faceted crystals. These are bicons. I use 5 bicons and 6 crystals. These are 8 millimeter bicons in this beautiful amber color or light orange color again. And this is a toggle clasp and two jump rings you could use regular clasp if you want but I prefer to use toggle clasp for this project. So I try this with uh, tenos, both colors to be tenos or to use one color of tenos and it still works. So uh, you could try it in this way. And uh, this is monofilament uh, that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use also crystal fire line for this project. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that I use to attach my jump rings and my clasp to my work. Okay, so now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to do first is take one of my crystal clear beads here. Faceted crystals, also called. And I'm going to slide it down almost until the end of my thread. And here guys, I'm holding my tail thread with my thumb, as you may see. And I'm going to take five of these beautiful tenos. Okay, I have my five tenos and I'm going back in circle through this crystal. Okay, then I'm going to take five more of these tenos, still holding my tail thread and I'm going back in circle through the crystal again. Okay, now I have this and I'm going here through these five beads, just like this. Okay, now I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot just to be sure that it's all tight and secure. Okay, and pull. Now I don't need to hold my tail thread anymore. Okay, so now what I do is that I go here again through my crystal and I want to pull to hide my knot inside it. Okay, then in my next step I'm going again through these seed beads in this direction. 
and what I'm going to do next is take three of these light orange beads and go here to fill in the gaps okay, just like this then again three again okay now guys what i do is as i'm exiting here through this central bead of my five that i have from this side you see here i have one two one two and i'm exiting out of the central one what i'm going to do is make a loop of beads where i'm going to attach my jump ring later okay and in order to do this i'm going to take four light orange beads and i'm going back in circle through this one here okay now i'm going to reinforce okay you could reinforce several times and then in my next step i'm going here through the central one of those three beads that I added, the light orange beads. And here, what I want to take are three light beads, just like this. And I go back here in circle through this one. Okay. Then I go in this direction and I want to repeat it from the other side of my work. Okay guys, so now this is what I have. And now what I do is that I go through the crystal. And my goal guys is to go in this direction and through the central bead from this side you see the central of my five beads okay this is the central i have two here and two here and in this step guys i'm going to take two c beads two tenno beads and i'm going back here in circle through this one so now i have this and here i'm going to attach my crystal okay and i'm going back through one of those newly added two beads okay i have this now i'm taking one of my crystals and i'm sliding it down like this and here i'm going to take three of these beads okay three of them slide those down and i'm going back here through this tree again in circle you see i have a loop going back in circle like this okay and what i do after that is that i go again through this crystal okay and i have this now okay you see what i have i attach it from this side and here from this side as i'm exiting through one of my beads in this direction i want to go through the other one in order to fix this uh, crystal to stay in the center of my work okay so when i was going in this direction in the beginning i went through this bit and when i was going back i went through this one here okay let me focus okay now i have the crystal attached here and what I want to do is go here through this bead. And here, guys, I'm going to add 
seven beads. Okay, I have seven beads here and I'm adding them around this bicone. Okay, like this. Then here I'm not going through this bead but directly through this one. Okay, you could go through this bead but you will need it later to go one or two times more through it and it will be difficult, that is why at this step you could skip going through it. Now I will cut this tail thread because it's on my way all the time. Okay, now guys, what I want to do is take seven more tenos. Okay, seven. And I go back here through this bead in this direction. Okay. So now, guys, I have this. My, I have my bicon also attached to my work. And what I'm going to do next is go through this one plus three more beads. Okay. One, two, three, four beads in total in this direction. And here I'm taking three light orange beads, okay, like this. As I'm exiting from this one here, if you don't see my thread, it's here. I'm skipping the next bead and I'm going through the following beads. Okay, just like this. Okay. Again, I'm going directly through these beads. And again, I'm going through four beads in this direction after the one that's sticking out. Here, I'm going through four beads, okay? You see how it beautiful it looks. And now I'm going to take three seed beads. I skip the one that's on my way. And I go in this direction. Okay, like this. Okay, guys. Now, what I do is that I go again through this bicon and I exit directly through this one that's at the edge. Okay. Now what I want to do is repeat the steps I showed you in the beginning when I where I was attaching this crystal bead in the center. Okay, so how I do this? I take two beads, okay, as I'm exiting from this one here, I take two beads, then I take my crystal, then I take two more beads, just like this. I have this, and I go back through this one here, guys. Okay. Now I have this, you see. Then what I want to do is also go through these two beads in this direction. And then I go here in the center through my crystal. Okay, this is like in the beginning, I have a crystal and five beads attached through one of its sides. But uh, one of those beads is um, from my other elements. So those two elements share one bead. Okay, so now I'm going to take five. Okay, I have five. And I'm going back through this crystal. Okay. Then I go through all of those beads. And take three. And go back. Then through these two. And three. Three again. Okay. So I have this crystal almost and identical to this one. The only thing. Uh, 
that I'm missing here are these bits attached to this and this side. So I'm going to add them. Okay. I'm going here in this central bit. And I'm taking three 10 on seed beads and I go back in circle through this one. Like this. Then I go back here through this crystal. And what I want to do is exit out of this bit. You could go around also, whatever you prefer. Now I'm going to take three. Okay, I have my three here. And it looks better when I show it at this dark background. Okay. So now I'm going back here through these beads. Like this. And now it's time to add a crystal. And how I'm doing this. I'm going in this direction and I'm taking again, like I showed you before, two beads. I'm exiting out of the central bead, as you may see. And I'm going back here through this one, just like this. And I have this. I'm going through one of my beads in this direction. And then, if you remember, I'm coming back through the other one in the other direction. Okay. So now I'm going to take it and, of course, slide it down. Okay. Then I'm going to take three tenno beads, slide those down as well. And in this step, what I do is that I go back through those three beads. And when I go back and pull, this is what I have. I have this beautiful loop of beads here. And I want to go back here through this crystal. After I make my loop of beads. And you see now how I attached this, um, this crystal to my work, this bicon. Okay. So now you see where my thread is going. It is exiting out of this bead. So when I pull it, it goes back and I'm going through the other one. In this way, I'm making my bicon stay in the center of my work. Okay. Both sides in the center. You see how it looks. Now I will flip because it's easier for me. Always flip the way it's easier for you. Okay. And now I'm going through this one here and I'm going to take seven tenos. Okay. And I have here my seven and I'm going through this one. Okay. I have this. Then I go back here through this one and again through this one. By the way, you could skip this one here at the edge, not go through it because you will need to go through it after that several times. Okay, then seven again. Seven. Go back. Okay, and I have this and now what I need to do is go here in this direction through four beads. One, two, three, four. Okay, four. Then I'm going to take three light orange beads. I skip this one at the angle and I go here through these beads. In my next step, I skip this one that's sticking out. 
I go through one, two, three, four beads in this direction. Here I add three, go through all of those beads like this. So now I have this, then I go through this crystal for a shortcut, okay? And my goal is to exit out of this bead here at the edge. Okay guys, now I have this and I'm going to continue until the end of this bracelet. And after I finish, I'm going to have six crystals, clear crystals, and five of these beautiful 8mm bicons. And then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm here and you see what I have here. I have all of my six crystal beads attached and all of my five bicons attached to my bracelet and i'm here at the edge where i want to make a loop to attach my toggle clasp after that okay and i'm going to take four seed beads i'm going here around this central bead like i did at the, the other side of my work and I'm going once. Then what I do is that I go a second time through those beads. And you could also make a third time if you want. Okay. Okay, and I will make my knot between those two beads. And in order to do this, I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull. And then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead and after this I cut my thread. And you could burn it with a zipper if you want. Okay, so now this is what I have. And I'm going to take a new half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm back. And what I want to do is attach a new thread on my work. Okay, I have it here. It's again about half an arm span. Okay, so I'm choosing a place between two beads let's say here again i do what i did before i was showing you before okay i'm making here a loop and going with my thread twice through the loop i've made make sure i'm between those two bits where i started my knot from and then what i do is that i go in this direction and you could make a uh, one or more knots just to be sure that it's all tight and secure and after that cut your tail thread here okay now i have my new thread attached and what i want to do guys is that i'm going in this direction and i want to exit here at this bit that's sticking out the most okay like this. Now I have this. And in my next step, I'm taking six 11 O's. Okay, I have those six here. What I want to do, guys, is that I'm going through these three 10 O beads. Okay, like this. Okay. And I'm pulling. Now I have this. Then I'm going to take six more. Okay, I have my six here. And I'm going here at the top. Okay, and I have this. Six again. 
and again I'm going through these three top tenno beads. Okay, now you see how it look, works and I'm going to continue this until the end of this bracelet and I'll be back to tell you how to do this from the other side of your work. Okay guys, and here I am where I finished this row. It's really pleasant and really easy when you get to this point. And I'm going to show you how to transfer at the other side and continue with the other part. Okay, so now what I want to do is go in this direction through all of those beads. Okay guys, and as I'm here at the top, what I need to take is the same thing I took from the other side. Six beads, okay, okay, six beads. And I'm going here through these three top tenos. Okay, just like this. From the top through the three, tenos that are at the edge of my bicon. Then again I'm going to take six. Okay, six. And I'm going again through this top bit. Okay, and pull. Now guys, you see how it forms. It's really beautiful. Then again six. And I go here through these three beads. Okay guys, and I think you get the idea and you could continue this by yourself until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I need to add my last six beads from this row okay and i'm adding them okay and you see how beautifully this bracelet looks maybe it's uh, too short but my wrist is small plus i'm using toggle clasps so i made it smaller you could make it longer and here i'm going to show you how to finish it first you need to make a knot and cut your thread and then add the toggle clasp okay so i'm here and i'm making my knot by making a loop and i'm going once and i'm going second time through this loop i've made like i showed you before and i pull then guys i go through my following c bit just like this And I cut my thread. Now you see how beautiful my bracelet looks. And I'm going to attach my toggle clasp to it. Okay guys, and I'm here where I need to attach my toggle clasp to my bracelet. Okay, and how I'm doing this, I'm taking my jump ring. I open this up. I put it here at this loop of beads that I did especially for this thing. Okay, and then I put my toggle clasp and I squeeze back in the same direction where I opened this up to. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this from the other side of my work. Okay, guys, and this is my other side and I touched my clasp the same way I showed you here and you see how beautiful this bracelet is. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make absolutely free tutorials two times a week and you will be inspired often 
and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my second channel where i post fast clips to my most famous and most like videos in where in two three minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not and you could also go and subscribe there if you want for a new inspiration and um, also down there in description you will find links to all of my social networks where you could share your beautiful wor works that you did following my tutorials you will find a link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me